Hey, what's up everyone? It's Timmy up in Alaska. Um, today I'm going to be changing the glow plugs in a 96 Ford F350 uh, 7.3 power stroke. I'm going to give you guys just a quick easy way to do it. There's the rod. There's the engine. So first thing we're going to do is disconnect both the negative terminals on both the batteries. Okay, I got the negative battery terminals off both batteries. Um, next thing I'm going to do is uh, start with the passenger side of the vehicle. I'm going to get the dipstick uh, bracket off right here. So it's a 10 millimeter bolt on top and two half inch bolts in the bottom. So just going to get that dipstick removed from the valve cover here. That way you can get the cover off and get to the glow plugs. The top 10 millimeter bolt for the dipstick right there. Getting that guy off. All right, get the dipstick bracket off. There's the two half inches and the 10 mil right there. Um, yep. On to the next step. Next part, we gotta get the valve cover off of this passenger side right here. Um, so there are 10 bolts. Um, Alrighty, so that back bolt to the valve cover gasket right there was a biatch. I just took a little quarter inch and a half inch uh, shallow socket and just worked it one little click at a time, got it out. All right, so got the valve cover off right there. Um, then you gotta pull the uh, valve cover gasket off here. Um, so you unclip little injector pieces right there and then unclip the little glow plug wires right there. Should be four in each. Once you get those unclipped, you can pull the valve cover gasket off. All right, and before I pull these glow plugs, I'm going to get the oil. There's a little bit of just oil all around them down there. So you wanna dab that out or you can blow it out with the air compressor that keeps the oil from getting down into the cylinder and creating unwanted pressure. All right, now what I'm doing is just blowing all this oil away from the glow plugs. That way it doesn't seep down into the cylinder. Kind of carefully blowing it all out of there. All right, get the oil away from the glow plugs. Now I'm gonna use just a quarter drive uh, with a 10 inch deep well socket and a little tiny extension. I'm going to back these glow plugs out um, almost all the way and then I'll be using a hose to take them out at the end uh, just because if uh, you try to back them all the way out the socket will hit the uh, rocker arm there and then yeah you can't go any further with it so I'll show you. All right and this is a great tip so once you get the uh, glow plug loosened up you just take a little piece of hose I've just got a little piece of siphon hose just quarter inch here or you can do three eighths slip it over the top of the glow plug down there and just press it till it's firm and you can actually unscrew the glow plug with the hose pretty cool I just finished loosening up with the hose and as you can see the hose just sticks to your glow plug like so like that and just you're able to unscrew it pulls it right out for you I do the same thing to put them back in so I'm gonna switch these plugs all right so I got my shiny new glow plug put the rubber hose on it and I'm just going to put it right back in and just tighten it up with the hose and then tighten it uh, with the wrench when I'm done. All right, so we're putting the valve cover gasket back on. Um, we're going to hook up uh, injectors again. So plugging those guys back in, clipping the top on and then hooking up the little glow plug wire. Just like this little red guy right here. Gonna hook that guy back on top of the glow plug. Once you get that on, we'll put the cap on over here. Put the bolts back in all the way around, crank everything down, and uh, just put the oil dipstick tube on, and then the passenger side's done. Okay, so got the valve cover back on, all 10 bolts cranked down. Um, gonna put this uh, dipstick, oil dipstick tube bracket back on the side of the valve cover. Okay, just get the oil dipstick bracket on, and moving on to the driver's side. All right, so the passenger side is done. Now we're moving on to the driver's side valve cover gasket. Um, to get that off, there's obviously some stuff in the way. Um, you gotta start with this whole air filter assembly that goes to your turn. All right, so the air assembly has to come off to get to the driver's side valve cover gasket. So we're gonna undo this hose clamp right there at the turbo, get that loose. Get a, I just got these two bracket bolts off your 10 mil right there and right there. And then one last thing you get to loosen is over here. There's one more hose clamp right down there. 
uh, right down there. So you gotta get that guy off and then this whole air assembly will slide off. Cool. All right, kids, there you go. Get the air intake off. All right, so now we're just undoing that bracket that holds on the air intake. All righty, got the air intake bracket off right there. Just these two nuts right there. I would recommend a 13 millimeter instead of a half inch, unless you want your socket to get stuck in the nut and then you can't get it off. Um, next up, we've got 10 valve cover bolts to remove all the way around and we'll pull this valve cover off. All right, so in the back of this driver's side, there's this U-shaped steel cover that's covering the valve cover. So you have to use uh, just a 13 millimeter to remove the bolts, the two bolts off of it. The reason being is this uh, this U-shaped cover is actually blocking that back bolt to get off the valve cover. Um, I found that this uh, half inch wrench, six inch extension, uh, flexible elbow, and then a 13 mil socket worked really well for this. All right, and off comes that ring that guards the valve cover. So now all the valve cover bolts are exposed. I will remove all 10 of those. Here. All right, so for the driver's side, that back valve cover bolt, this freaking just worked awesome. Uh, half inch wrench, six inch extension, flexible elbow, and a 13 millimeter socket came right off. All right, just getting these guys off. All right, use the 13 mil wrench to get this off. And I've got one more valve cover gasket bolt right there. And I don't want to remove this because there's a couple of rubber uh, gaskets in there and I just don't want to break that seal and have to replace them. So I'm going to get these two last valve cover gasket bolts out and then we will be able to remove the valve cover. Okay, now we're going to unclip these little guys. There, got one more in the back. All right, and we are ready to remove the valve cover gasket. Well, got all the valve cover gasket bolts off and just noticed, gee dang it. Um, if you see the edge of this thing, it's totally fried. F my life, I'm far away from a parts store. Should look like that, should look nice and clean, but I think all these connectors are known to fail at some point, so that's probably why she wasn't starting. All right, gonna have to replace that, but I'm gonna continue with the glow plug replacements. All right, same deal over here, kids. We're just gonna pop off little connector right there but yeah pull those guys and I'll switch these glow plugs up all right got a new valve cover gasket from Napa right here which comes with two new pigtails right here um, to replace this super burned up one right there um, so anyway putting this valve cover gasket on um, the glow plugs are a little bit tougher the uh, wires for the top of them so they're kind of tight so I'm having to push it down with pliers really hard it's kind of a nice trick for a needle nose. All right, we get the little yellow injectors hooked up, the clips, and we got all four uh, glow plug electric connectors on top. New, brand new valve cover gasket. Now we're just gonna throw the valve cover on. Then I'm gonna change out these pigtails after that. Oh yeah. All righty, get all the bolts on the valve cover. Um, use that same setup for the back bolt, that half inch wrench, six inch extension, a swivel joint and a 13 mil. Um, now it's gonna put on the little steel U-piece, a couple nuts in the back there. Um, put on the bracket for this air intake, and then it should be good to go other than splicing the pigtails together. So I'm about to put on a new pigtail here. As you can tell, this connector is super burned there. All messed up, and you can see how much wire I have to work with. Literally nothing. Awesome. All right, my pigtail, I'm getting ready to put it on. Just cutting these wires, I'm gonna splice this new pigtail wires into this old one. All right, got my new valve cover connector, a shrink heat tube on there, ready to plug in. Um, then I'll put the uh, intake back on, get the turbo connected up, and see if she fires up. All right. So Hooking back up the air intake, and we'll hook up the negative terminals of each battery and fire it up and see what happens. 
All right, so I got it all fired up and it was running all messed up. And it turns out that that yellow wire um, coming into that valve connector um, did not match the yellow wire in the valve cover gasket. Um, so it was switching the cylinders around. So uh, we swapped the wires around, experimented and found it. And she runs like a champ, running good. And that's how you do it. It's Timmy coming to you from Alaska. Um, tune in next time for something else.